<laughs> All right, so we back. Um, the the first official episode of the artists of shitty people artists of shitty people podcast. Hey, and so like it was like a stroke of magic, a strike of lightning. Last episode, it was like. <laughs> Like, yo, that's the name of it. We both agreed. Is. Yeah. And then we went to Instagram and everybody said, No. It was a lot of people said that laughed and like, oh, that's yeah. But, but not that ain't me. me though. <laughs> yeah. That's how they be. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm good um, and goddamn well as YouTube. But anyway. <laughs> so wanted to explain the name of the podcast. Yeah. And um why artists are shitty people. Because sometimes we are. But not intentionally. No. And we're going to talk about why it's not intentional. Yeah. It's it's the analogy that I always use as babies, mm. children, kids. Mm. Babies are the shittiest people on earth. If you're a parent, you know this. If you are a parent, you know, like, shitty, just loud, mm. obnoxious. Self-centered. Uh, self-centered. Selfish. Um, inconsiderate. <laughs> I'm cold. Need attention Wham. all the time. I'm like, hungry. <laughs> don't matter if it's three in the morning. Ah, don't matter if you just had a full you day. You get at work. no sleep. They don't, they don't care about that. <laughs> is what My it stomach is. hurts. Wham. It's Something about me. me. Me, 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 <laughs> me, me. <Wham. laughs> so it's understanding that um, babies are shitty people, but you never hear them spoken of. Like, no. you know, no one's like, yo. Babies are the worst. You no can't one talk says about that. them like Even that. Even though they are. Yeah, but you can't say that. Because we, we it's like, because it's understandable. Yeah. yeah. Because they're new. You, like, they don't know. They are brand new. Brand new. Don't know Fresh nothing. Fresh out the rapper. Don't know nothing. Nothing. And so, with that being said, we are considerate of the fact that they're new. Mm-hmm. And so, as, as parents, as aunts, as uncles, cousins, just... Anyone, most people in society understand that. Yeah, and it's like, and make and put that in context. Put yeah. their actions in context of their inexperience in this world. So with artists, it's the same thing. Same thing. Artists are shitty people. We're new. We don't and know. Inconsiderate. We're inconsiderate and loud and self-centered. We are selfish. <laughs> we want to make it to the top. By any means necessary. Yes. And I mean. With no consideration for anybody else. Yeah. Like a baby or children, they don't consider the fact that you got to go to work or the fact that you are tired or any of that stuff. It's like, I want to watch cartoons and eat cereal or whatever it is. Why can't we go Play with me now. Pay attention to me now. And and it's it's a thing that we, we have to teach them. Like mm-hmm. we like, and I, and I say the the amount of the amount of hours of children's programming just dedicated to the simple concept of sharing. Sharing is caring. Barney. It's very simple. <laughs> I don't, I'm older. Oh, uh, yeah, Miss Barney. Like we was Zubu, you missed Barney Zubali Zoo and uh, Sesame Street. I thought you were gonna say Zabumafu. I don't know, but I'm, what the what? hell is that? Zabumafu. Listen, I, insert clip here. <laughs> Yeah. Different generation. <laughs> Whoa. But no, just but oh, no matter what, since since they've been making children's programming, it's yeah. like, yo, you know you gotta share, right? Like, Same you message. Just, you can't eat all the cookies. Like if someone else wants to get on the swing. Right. Like some it's <laughs> gotta it's, share. Gotta because, wait your turn. Because we don't uh, inherently we don't understand that. Mm-hmm. We want what we want. Yeah. And we don't consider the fact that other people want other things. And sometimes they want what we want too and that we have to take turns or we have to divide resources or chip in effort. Yeah. And it takes a while for a child to get that. And once they get that, in the sense of physical things and, and very explicit acts of sharing, like, oh, it's five cookies and it's five of us, I should only get one. Right. We get that. But then you become a teenager. <laughs> And it's like, hey, teens. I probably should turn these lights off because <laughs> I know I ain't paying the bills. Right. <laughs> but that consideration is never really there. I should probably take out the trash. Right. <laughs> I should all the little chores that mm-hmm. you feel like just had me so that I could do all this stuff. Right. You know, when you're right. a kid, right. like, I can't wait till I have, I'm going to tell both my kids. <laughs> do everything. Right. I ain't going to lift a finger because I'm going to have kids. Yeah, cause you're, because you ain't thinking about mortgages and taxes right. and gas and grocery and electric bills and stuff. So, 
you don't understand because if it's if the 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 resources aren't explicitly finite and in, in your face, the mm-hmm. concept of sharing isn't clear. Right. It's not five cookies and five people. And it's like, that's an easy one. But when it's like, you have to consider that, hey, this person is allergic to peanut butter and there are four peanut butter cookies and one chocolate chip cookie. Mm. I shouldn't eat the chocolate chip cookie because he won't have a cookie or he'll die. (laughs) (laughs) Or he'll die. (laughs) So it's like when it's not like when you have to rationalize and take extra factors into account. And, um, And so when artists are young, and not talking about age, I'm talking about when they get into music in a sense that not I'm not doing this as a hobby. I want to do this as a career. Mm-hmm. I want to make this my purpose in life. That's the day that you're born as an artist. Yeah. And so we start counting from then. And there are a lot of infants and newborns. <sighs> my same way. I am an infant. I can admit that. No, you're a toddler. You and your terrible twos. Oh. Terrible. Yeah. Because you're at that age where you think you know. And I do think I know sometimes. But you, you know don't. what? Com- completely honest. I don't know, but I don't want them to know that I don't know. Because yeah. I was taught that if you don't know, then you're foolish. So you have to know. No, that you weren't taught that. Then how did I get here? Because it's human. Oh, well. It's like you. It's humanly you, innate. Whoever feels that. good to not know. <laughs> Nobody feels good not knowing. Yeah. Like when people, people crack a joke. And it's an inside joke, but you feel like you should get it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you so you laugh, giggle, chuckle too. You chuckle too. alone, <laughs> and they look. Like, you don't know what the hell we talking about. about. Right? <laughs> I don't know what they talking we about. Talking about you. I, I don't want to not know though, and I don't want to look like I don't know, so I'm gonna laugh. Yeah, it's just but, human nature. Yeah, yeah. And so, and that's that's what we're we're born. And so, maturity is overcoming human nature. Mm. Like we're not born caring and loving and considerate people that's something that we develop from the ability to be able to put ourselves in another's shoes Mm. through empathy and consideration and so you can like a baby doesn't cry when they watch a movie or they watch a cartoon they just watch it what's going on Ah! But when you get older and you've been in situations and you have Mm. family members and you see someone die and you see these things, you have a full context of what all the stuff that's off screen that comes with that. Yeah. Finally experience that. And it gets you in your emotions. Whew. And so it's like that's a it's a a maturity thing. For me, if I feel like maturity is is realizing that and the, Mm. the deeper um, you're able to become aware aware of other people's situations mm-hmm. and empathize, then the less shitty you are. Mm. And it's like, and nobody's immune. Yeah, artists are shitty people, but so are producers, mm-hmm. so are professionals, so are just consumers. Creatives, consumers people. are shitty yeah. people. Like yeah. all of you motherfuckers. All of you. <laughs> like, oh, you want, oh, you not? You not? Okay, <laughs> then. Why y'all complaining about? Any any of these services online, mm-hmm. like you don't want to, you don't want the ads, right? But you also don't want to pay for them, right? So you want the ad? Why would they skip, skip, skip? Yep. You know them ads are paying for you to watch this, right? <laughs> but you don't want to pay to right. get them removed. You but then you also want to be service. a YouTuber and you also want to make money, money because yeah. they selling ads on your videos, yeah. And so it's that whole thing of I want what I want, be damned with whatever <laughs> everybody else got going on. And it takes us back to the conversation in, I think it was the last episode where we were talking about budgets uh, with the videographer. Yeah. Like how you, you this is where I'm at. I want a video. This is what I want to spend. These are the things I want. I want a dollhouse. Mm-hmm. I want this. I want the I want helicopters everything. to come down with the waterfalls and CGI, all that, yep, right? Yep. <laughs> but I want to give you $1,500. And it's like, and I don't even want to tell you what I want to give you because I want, because in the off chance that you might say that you'll do it for less than $1,500 and I'm going to keep that extra 600 in my pocket. <laughs> so, <laughs> shitty person right here. <laughs> I was a shitty artist that, that day, yeah. for sure. And so, I, I but you don't think less. about it. But it was, yeah. you don't think about I it like that. I didn't consider it at all. All no. I saw was what I have in my pocket, what I want, and can you give me what I want? With what I got in my pocket, but 
on the off chance that you might say a little bit less, tell me your price. You know what? This tell is, me your this price. Is, this is the thing that artists think makes them less shitty. It's going to be good promo for you. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I'm going to promote this. Man. Uh, scrolling All my people from the looks of these past posts. Shoot. Some super producers <laughs> may just see it too and want you. Come on now. Promo. Free promo. So that that's the thing is. is um, That's the worst excuse. I ain't like, gonna lie. It's a lot of artists who aren't gonna watch this videos yeah. and watch the podcast because of the title. <laughs> I feel like because it resonates with them. They're yeah. probably the shitty those artists. Are, those are the people who need to hear it most. Yeah. But those are the people, it's a reason. It's like, and this is something that I developed over the years, is like you wanna help the people who need it the most. Mm. And I, I'm not interested in helping them. See, and that's what I've wanted to do too, which is why I curated the Indie Fresh concerts. I wanted right. to help the people who need it the most, and I felt like I was being shysted. So I was like, "Shit, well, I'm gonna just make my own." Right. But that's mm. the wrong mentality. Why though? You gotta help the people who need it the least. What? Gotta help the people who need it the least. Uh, like, explain that. You're right here. Yeah. Right. All the way back here. And this is the finish line. Someone's right here. Uh-huh. Now, if I could push you up this far, you still not past the finish line. Right. But I could push this person up this far and get them to the finish line. Right. So, and this is, I think, a big thing in our community. And for those who are just listening, <laughs> I will add a description <laughs> right here. Right. <laughs> so, it's, it's like we're understanding that... Um, I think in our community, we have this kind of complex. Mm. And I realized this when I started doing the magazine and consulting and working on a professional level. And I, and I watched, and I see a lot of other people do this. It's like this, it's like the um, dangerous minds. You know, when Michelle Pfeiffer goes to the hood, you know, lean on me, mm-hmm. go with the hard nosed principal goes to them. the I'ma go where they need it the yeah. most and help, help them. Help them, help the kids. Yeah. And and it's like you put uh, we, we we look for the people who need it the most. And I think that makes people feel good and it makes for a great mm-hmm. story. And we see that story and we try to emulate it. And it's like I would watch and I even to an extent like helping artists get out the streets. It's artists in the streets trying to, you know, Make clean up it. and trying to get their life together and stuff like that. And everybody's focused on helping them. Yeah. To the extent that overlook the college students, the kids who got a job, mm. someone who's talented, whose parents are investing, who all who have all these other things going on, who have more structure in their life mm. and probably ain't gonna catch a case or a body along the way. Yeah. And so we overlook the people who may not need it the most. But they already got their foot, their footing somewhere. They're in a better position for the help that we offer to make a difference. Mm, I see what you're saying. All the people who didn't came through Atlanta and spent tens of thousands of dollars doing like out in the streets doing one foot in, one foot out, all that went to what? Nothing. To nothing. Yeah. Because they got a case. The bag got light. Some like they got <laughs> jam and all of that. Falls down. And that does happen quite often. And so, like, that's the thing is we we get caught up in that narrative. And I, I was caught up in that narrative. Like, early on, it was like maybe two, three years in. I was like, yo, that was one of the reasons why I said, like, I, I stopped. Like, yo, I don't want to have these big prices and these big packages and for the things that we do. Because I know, ultimately, I'm not the only person you have to pay. Yeah. Like, you're going to have to pay me, but then you're also going to have to pay that DJ. Mm-hmm. You're also going to have to pay your videographer. You're also going to have to pay the websites that you get posted on. I don't want to just be another person apart, being a party to failure. Yeah, okay. So, so I'd rather, like, we do the membership, we do the subscription, and the people who are on the platform, it's about mindset. It's about, like, here's a, here's a very simple thing. Right now, to, we don't. The membership is closed, like so. We don't take in new members. What? Um, yeah, we've been closed for like going on two years. Um, it's like you got to be invited. It's oh. an application process. We open enrollment is two, three months out of the year. You got to get interviewed. It's a whole thing. And to be a member now is a minimum fifteen hundred dollars for one year. 
Um, but the subscription kind of takes place of what the membership initially was. Mm. So you have an active subscription on the site. It's $20. But like for that, like you get discounts on like every the music reviews we do, like a lot of the events that we do. Um, you get posts on the site. You get help with your SEO, you marketing. You're eligible to get featured in the magazine. Oh, so um, you still get a lot. And yeah, everything. Okay. Like it's way more than for twenty dollars a month. You get access to if you just submit for one opportunity a month, you actually come at come out like thirty dollars a head a month. Like, and that doesn't include the fact that, like, you get the post on the site for free, which helps with the SEO, and we've leveraged that, and other people have used it to help get verified, like, all kind of stuff. But I say all this to say, that's my my shitty artist detector. Mm. Like, the amount of people who, yo, I'm trying to get on your stage for South By, yo, I'm trying to, we got to tap in, we got to lock in, we got to work. Like, yo. You subscribe to the website? Man, I've been looking at it and thinking about it, but you know everybody's scamming. I'm like, okay, so what are we having a conversation for? Because that means that at this point, you feel like I might be a scam, but we're having a conversation. That don't make sense. So you don't have $20 worth of faith in what we do <laughs> or what we offer, but you want to have a conversation. And so I was like, it ain't, it ain't that. I know why you're talking to me because you know we do what we do. Mm -hmm. You see it all around you. Like you've talked to people, you know people, you've seen the posts, you see the people with the money, you see the people at the shows, you've been to the shows. Like, yo, can I get on this? How can I get on the stage? You can't get on the stage. Like every year during South by Southwest, I turned down around $10,000 in the venue from people, yo, I got $800, I got $2,500, I'm trying to get my artists. Nah, you just had to go to the website. Like, go to the website, register next year. Wow. Every year. Because it'd be packed. Labels be in there. Managers in there. Media in there. Doing free interviews, doing all this stuff. I'm like, yo, you had, you, you had your chance. You had your chance. <laughs> like, like, what, like, wow. I, and I'm not going to devalue what we do for the people who follow mm. the rules, the mm. people who aren't shitty. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, this is a, and I think everybody who's a professional at a certain status has their their shitty artist detector. Like, okay, yeah, send me an MP3 with just the title, da 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 Put this in the subject line. Boom. Send them no subject line, link to Spotify. Couldn't. Ain't even the song. Just they artist profile. Yeah, check out what you like. You know, it's all right. Couldn't follow through. <laughs> like, do simple, simple instructions. Yeah, because yeah. it's the expectation that people should conform to you. That's the thing. You babies as artists. Yeah, like <laughs> wham. Mm -hmm. Babies. <laughs> like when you're as as an adult, if you go into a restaurant and there are people in the restaurant and you order your food, the next order that comes up, you know it's not yours. Mm -hmm. If you go into a restaurant, it's like, yo, it's a 30 minute wait. And you see people sitting around and you sit down too. And they call someone else and they go get their table. They, like, you understand? Like, yeah. oh, they've been here. They were like, okay. As an artist, you go to an open mic and you sign up to perform. It's already people in here. Already people performing. Why in the fuck are you asking the promoter when you go? When am I next? When Can I'm I get on, on there? Like, oh, oh my I got God. people. They got to go to work. Right. Guess what? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Babies. Wah. Boy, I tell you, no, nah, it's true. I've even had that situation at my concerts. You've like, even been that artist, I'm like, dude. Before yeah. you were, all right. I've been that artist. Yeah, like, see, I'm like, and that's hold on, hold on. Go, no, no, no. That's like we about to get yeah. real honest. We gonna get yeah. real honest. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, like you got to distance yourself from the thing. That thing. Like I can't be the uninitiated. I can't be the one who didn't know. I can't be the one. Listen. Yo, I ran a business without doing my taxes. Like doing that in the house, like, oh, every year, like, oh, God, I gotta get this shit together. Yeah. I, gotta, I gotta get another accountant. I gotta get some, And then I got it together. And it's like, and it's like, boom, it's like, oh, God. Yeah, we're gonna have to make a payment plan. <laughs> <laughs> and got it taken yeah. care of. Like, like, we all, like, nobody started out fully formed. Mm. And then, but yet we all, and it's like, 
it, it's not we're not taught that. We learn that. Yeah. And I was like, we can take it back to social media. Everybody shows the end. Like you'll come on here and we'd have these conversations and you're going to posture. Yeah. Like, yeah, you I buy houses when I see them. Right. <laughs> like, like you're gonna posture because you wanna present something to the world. Ooh, yeah. You wanna present something to the world, you don't wanna be vulnerable. Right. Like and 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 it's hard. Like I'm it's like, true. I, I, I talk about me being a shitty artist all the time. I was whack. I was like, but I I worked. Yeah. Being whack made me work. And when I accepted, like, yo, like my like the artists on my label used to shit on my music. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I was like, I read it, that shit hard, but when you say it, it sounds like garbage. So I was like, <laughs> it's like, damn. damn. It's the truth though. I'm pushing your shit back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> But it's like, yo, I'm going to outwork you, though. Yeah. And so it's like when you realize and when you're honest about where you are and what you lack, then that's where you can really start growing. Start to grow. Because I can't, I can't help you. Yeah. I would love to help you. I would love to help you become a millionaire. Yeah. But I can't do that if you don't tell me what your situation is. Right. Like, homie was here. I was like, yo, what's your budget? Because I was going to bust down, hey, this is how you actually put together your budget. This is how you actually do it. But when you... I don't have a budget. Like, it's the sky's Anything. the limit. The sky's the limit. Like, it was like, that's not... Yeah. Well, then, like, I can't... I don't know can't how to divide you. infinity. Right. <laughs> like, can't help you. It's, it's like, infinity yeah. is next to zero. They're conceptual. You ain't never seen zero, and you ain't never seen infinity. Oof. And so, like, in the, in the need to... Put up this pretense, yeah. Like, and this, and this, it, this is beyond music, and that's why shitty people. Mm-hmm. Because the way that I help artists make money, and the way that I help artists succeed, is by helping them become better people. So, like, we'll have a conversation. And I'm gonna show you. Hey, this ain't about music. It ain't. It ain't no secret website to go to. It's working on character. Mm. It's being able to admit, damn, I don't know that. Yeah. It's being able to, ah, I didn't look, I, yo, I do have to account for my bills. I do have to take responsibility. It, yo, it would behoove me to consider other people when I'm planning things. And it's like those simple things make you better at social media, make you better at planning and putting things together with your team, make you better across the board at a lot of things. And it's those, those character, that character development and those personal and interpersonal skills. And so the goal is for the artist, I want artists to realize, yo, that is kind of shitty. Yeah. I want you to see, I want you to see the shit that you're doing as shitty so that you can stop being a shitty person and actually start being a productive person mm. and being a benefit. It's like, um, it was something Kanye said before that was like really dope and it resonated because it kind of encapsulates this yeah. is people are like, I think that like people worried about being used. And it's like, I want to be used because that means I'm useful. Uh, yeah. And it's like when people are worried about being used and worried about like you don't, mm. you don't want to be useful. Like, oh, they just want it because I got this. And I was like. You should want that. Yeah. Huh. Never thought about it like Why that. Why do you have these gifts? Yeah. To be used. Yeah. Not like, all for yourself. I that built this sense. whole, like, what I built was a platform. And I'm like, what do you build platforms for? For people to stand on. That's it. It's like I hate going to open mics, and there's a stage there, and the guy's running around on the floor. <laughs> like, nobody can see you. Yeah. <laughs> the purpose of being on the stage is to elevate you so everyone can see you. That's it. Makes sense. So, artists, like, you know, <sighs> I know you think it's not you, but yeah, it's you. You're shitty too. Uh, <laughs> I'm shitty too. I'm yeah. shitty too. Yeah. I can admit this today. I'm shitty too. Okay. <laughs> a year ago, you couldn't catch me saying this, yeah. <laughs> especially and, not out loud. Right. And it's like, but right. it is like, and if you can say it, then you can work on it. Yeah, and that's the thing. It, it gives you room to grow for real now, because yeah. it's like, damn. Now I gotta actually look at the things that I do before I do them and consider everybody instead of just myself. Selfish. Yeah. And it's and that's hard. That is hard. It's like so, um, but yeah, like when you do that, 
then you like you you stop falling for the scams. That's scam prevention. Because mm. when you said, what does this other person get out of this? That reveals a lot of stuff. Because the 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 um, the makeup of a scam is is rooted around. Well, I won't even say this. I feel like the basis of pretty much all scams is allowing you to get over. It's like explain see, that. Like I'm seeing like people buy the, the the TV on the streets and they get back and they got bricks in it oh, or something yeah, like yeah, you yeah, seen yeah, posts yeah, like that yeah. of people that happen to you. <laughs> Guess what? They didn't buy that shit at Best Buy like that. Right. They bought it out the back of somebody's truck. So you thought you were getting over. You thought you was getting a you deal. You thought you was no, no, not getting Damn. a deal. You thought you were getting over. Because you know that that was not procured through legal means. Oh. Right? Yeah. You cheating the system. Yeah. You think you cheating the system. You got the cheat code and got cheated. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, you got to work hard, organic, and all this stuff. Oh, shoot. You mean I could pay you and you're going to sit me down with uh, P from QC? Yeah. All I got to do is. All I got to do is. Oh, I got it. Cheat code. Cheat code. Yeah. <laughs> Cheat yourself, and that, yeah. and that's that's what it is. Yeah, I've I've ran into a couple of those cheat codes before, and definitely yeah. cheated myself. And if you look, and, and that's why, I like, I I throw these posts up, and I'll be like, all right, who scammed you? Don't nobody, everybody hush. Mm. Don't nobody want to tell because like when you really say it out loud, you hear how stupid it sounds. But you didn't care how stupid it sounds because you thought you were getting thought over. You were getting over. Like, uh, like, and that's a, artists get scammed by trying to scam. Mm. I'm a scam the system. I'm a, I'm going to, what is a cheat code? Everybody looking for the cheat code. You're a cheater. You want to cheat. <laughs> you don't want to play the game and win. You don't want to be the best player. Nah. Want to cheat and try to win, but it don't ever work that way. No. Yeah. Damn. So, so, our last podcast we was talking about. Budgets. Budgets. And we had two full podcasts talking about budgets. Yeah. And it was at the end of the last podcast that, it boom, clicked. the light. Like, I saw it. Man. That's, that's why I do this shit. Yeah. Like, seeing that. Like, even my wife, it was like, I saw when she got it. Yeah. And it was like, yeah. Yeah. But it's it, crazy. It took more than two hours. Yeah. Yeah. For me to actually. And it was a lot of examples. And a lot of stuff, but I, and that's what I say, understanding that I don't, ex, like, yo, I don't expect a newborn to start talking in the second week. Mm. Like, I might have to, hey, don't do that for my two year old, three year old, several times before they get it. Yeah. They might actually have to burn themselves to learn, but I'm gonna still tell them I can take the time. And that's why, like, when I, like, I'm, I'm very direct when I talk to artists. Like, I don't coddle artists mm. like because that prevents them from growing but at the same time like I am patient and for artists to grow if I'm being patient and I know and I could be doing something else with my time mm. then you should definitely be patient if you don't know yeah and so that comes back to this thing where even editing the podcast, making it quick, quicker paced and more entertaining, doo -doo -doo -doo, like just cut out this where we just kind of, it's like, okay, then you want to make TikToks. <laughs> and like, and that's my problem with social media, why I don't do a lot of posts is because just being real, you can't ask the question you need to ask in 60 seconds. Yeah. Never mind me trying to answer, you can't even ask the question. Because your question is, what's a good budget? But your real question is, what's a good budget for a female artist in Atlanta who's doing R&B, but I can also rap, and I got a video. I haven't been doing music that long, but these, it's so much context yeah, that has to come one. into play, and I'm making this much a year, but this much goes toward this, and this is what I got left to spend, and these are what my goals are for the next six years. And like, It's so much context that has to come in for me to even add, answer that question. Yeah. Jeez. And so you can't do that in 60 seconds. Nah. And that's for one person, for me to answer for one person. But then people get on the internet and answer questions to the masses. Like a blanket. With like a, no context. None. 
and you guys assim- assimilate it mm-hmm. and take this information and think you know. Yeah. And so then when someone has a real conversation, oh, yeah, budgets. Because you have this comfort of knowing, but knowing you don't know. Knowing what I know, yeah. but I don't know. You don't know what you don't know. Yeah. That's the, that's the, the thing. You don't know what you don't know. What you don't know. So you guys are the most informed but least knowledgeable. See, there's this, like, like when I didn't know something, I knew I didn't know it. But you have so much information. Like, you have so much information at your fingertips and that you're exposed to. You've seen a tweet about it. Mm-hmm. You've seen a, like... Instagram, TikTok, or... I can bring up... Googled. Anything. Like, just the headlines. Mm-hmm. Like, the amount of things that you will comment on because you've seen a headline or a post about it, mm-hmm. but you did not read the article. Yeah. True. You know about the guy getting injured on the football field, and oh, so yes. but you don't know the whole story. Like you've seen bits and pieces. You know that Shannon Sharp and the, mm-hmm. the person had a. Got you it. know that you just highlights of highlights. Highlights. And you, but your brain thinks you into thinking that you, I know now. Yeah, you're I informed. Know. I'm informed, <laughs> but you're not knowledgeable. Mm-mm. So you you know, oh, I need to monetize or I need to do this and I need to do a budget and I got to do this and I got to, you know, all the words, but not the principles and the practices that back them up. I can give you a sentence to read, a script to read in Spanish, and you know the two L's are yeah, and okay, and the J is a soft like an H, and mm-hmm. you can pronounce that motherfucker like mm. butter, but don't know what still the don't hell know what you said. Mean, right? <laughs> still don't know. And that's that's where yeah. we're at when it comes to artists. artists in the music industry. And so my my um, my desire is to to genuinely help people. Like my thing is, like I say, is it, it's helping people be successful. Yeah. And what that looks like is, yeah, money. Yeah. That's, but there are people that we help, and some of the people that we help the most. It don't even involve money, them ever making money. It's about helping them realize that this is a hobby. Mm. Like, my goal is, like, I plan on writing a book at some point, but my goal is going to be for people who shouldn't be doing music. Because everyone who does music doesn't have to do it professionally. professionally. And it's once you realize that, then you stop spending obscene amounts of money Mm -hmm. and wasting your life and time and burning bridges and relationships behind something that you You think you're serious about. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Sometimes you got to stop being shitty to yourself. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah. So what I want to do moving forward is can you show up as your authentic self? My. Someone who doesn't know. As no t- posturing. No, I can't let them see. No, I can't I let can't them let see. Them Can you? See me. <laughs> yeah. You know what's crazy is um, I've at the end of last year, that was something that I said for myself moving forward. I want to be able to show people the real me and, and not the Miss Primrose, you know, but. brand that I had to put on for, for these last two years. So um, it's a challenge, but it's a challenge I am willing to take. And can I call you on, on your bullshit when you bullshit? You can call me on my bullshit. Like, all right. It ain't going to hurt me. All right. I'm just going to be like, damn. I'm going to let you know when you right shit though. in. I'm going to let you know when you bullshit. Yeah. I'm, right. I, and, and, and both times I'm going to have to talk to my therapist about it. <laughs> Coach me on back <laughs> to, the, to the right side because, yeah, I just be, yeah, yeah. We're going to go for it, y'all. We're going to see how this goes. All right. So I'm going to ask you, did you work on your budget since our last show? No. All right. Bullshit. <laughs> Today, let me tell you, today, I did something good today. Right. So Jeremiah, the mixed guru, and I, we were having a conversation, and he was like, you got to stop, you know, eating it, eating out and spending money on this and spending money on this. So what I did today towards that, I made my lunch today. I packed my lunch, and I brought it out. I ate breakfast at home, and I packed my lunch because I said I'm going to try to hone more of my money so that I can when I create my budget, because I'm going to create this budget, y'all, next podcast. You're going to see. I'm going to create my- It's been a week. <laughs> And in the next week, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just no. I got to call you on your yeah, bullshit. I'm, yeah. I told, I hold you accountable. Yes, it's and been that's a week. Fine. To to do your budget the way I showed you, uh-huh. takes less than an hour. Okay, so what I'm gonna need 
in order to do that, can you send me the footage from last one? Because I okay, can't remember I, stuff. I'll give you that. I'll give you but that. But I ain't like, like I'll send you, remembered um, everything to a T. Like, we're gonna, I'll, I'll send you like a worksheet for it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so like, but yeah, like that's the whole thing is is to do that because that's just like recording a song isn't a marketing plan. You follow me? It's not. Like you, you packing your lunch yeah. saves you some money. Yeah, it's a part of. It's a part you of. You need it. this. It's a step. This helps. A little step. But it's it not the thing. It ain't the, whole it ain't the thing. Right, right, and right. so you have to, you have to do the budget. Yeah. And then you can see, like, and here's the thing: it's gonna help you. Like, oh, I can eat out. I just can't do that. I don't need to be doing this. Well, yeah. I can eat out twice a week, and and making and knowing hmm. because you gotta see, you gotta see. It's the macro. Yeah. The big picture. Yeah. Like, making your lunch is the small picture. Yeah. Uh, you, know, you know that it saves you, but you don't know how it plays yeah. into the whole big thing. Big thing. So, I want you to do that. Uh, All right. We can do that. Yeah. We're going to do that. All right, cool. We'll be back next week and see if she did that. And we're going to release, since we released this late, I'm going to insert a clip right here. <laughs> Or maybe we'll just leave it as a cliffhanger. <laughs> right, right. We'll see. We'll see. Find out next time on Artists, Artists are Shitty, shitty People. people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey.